Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sandy Beauty here and today we are not doing a review. Today we're going to do like a little get ready with me. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen all over Instagram and on YouTube all of the Jordan Woods and Chloe and Tristan drama. And you know what? Usually this is not my cup of tea on my channel, but something sparked something in me because her makeup on the Red Table Talk was looking so flawless and I was like, I have to recreate that look. And if I'm going to recreate the look, I might as well talk about the topic, right? Okay guys, so as you can see, I got my ponytail and I got my turtleneck just like Jordan. So guys, basically this look is going to be like super flawless and like super natural looking, um, just like how she looked on the Red Table Talk. So yeah, we're just going to get right into the tutorial and you know, we're going to talk a little bit about the situation. <laughs> Okay guys, so like Jordan's makeup was looking like so fresh and natural and flawless and I have nothing on right now obviously as you guys could tell because you could see my blemishes. So Jordan's brows are like perfect. They're full and they're soft and oh my god. So I'm going to really try to recreate her brows. Um, as you can see my brows are pretty sparse but I'm going to see what I can do to kind of get the same type of effect that she has going on and the pencil I'm going to use is the Deluxe Brow Pencil from MAC. This is in the shade Velvet Stone and to clean it up I'm going to use my Morphe um, Fluidity Concealer in C2.5 is it? C C4.25. Okay I don't know if I could do much discussion while my while I'm doing my brows. So her brows looked a little bit full and like pretty natural so I'm going to go in really light handedly but I'm going to overdraw. It's not like I don't overdraw anyway but I'm going to try to get as close to her shape as possible. Honestly, I don't know if I could talk while, the, while doing the brows. So let me just quickly do the brows and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I finished the brows. I can talk now. Um, so yeah, we're going to move into the skin because honestly this look that she had, it's not like there was eyeshadow or anything. It was mainly about how flawless her skin looks. So that's what we're going to do. So to prime my face, guys, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Um, putty primer and I did a review on this in my last video if you guys want to see my review on this, please go check that video out. But yeah, if you guys aren't familiar with this whole Kylie and Jordan story. Um, a quick little background on it is Jordan is Kylie Jenner's best friend and Chloe is Kylie Jenner's sister. So first the story came out that Tristan cheated on Chloe with Jordan. Anyways, when it first came out, I mean, I'm not saying I didn't really care. I was like, oh my God, like, you know, but just like anybody else, like you see the story and you're just like, okay, whatever. What actually drew me to the story was a Red Table Talk because, you know, Jada Pinkett Smith and I love Will Smith and Jada. And also, um, her makeup looks so nice in the video. So I said, okay, I, it just drew me to the video. So I wanted to watch it because I was actually surprised that she came out and want to talk about it publicly, especially because she's getting ripped. She's getting ripped on Instagram and on all social media platforms. So I was like, okay, what... Like, what can she say? Because I didn't know exactly what happened. It was just, like, stipulations that were being made, right? So I wanted to see if it was actually true or if she was going to come on there and be like, oh, it's a lie and whatever. But anyways, like I was saying, so it was said that she had cheated. And how this story came out, there's a page, I forget what it's called, but there's basically, like, a baller alert or a shade room for, um, like... So basically what happened is Tristan Thompson was out partying and... Um, Jordan Woods and her friends were there and then basically the party ended early because in LA the parties do end early so I'm assuming just from other videos that I've watched that it's the culture in LA when a party ends they just bring it back to the house so that's what happened so they were there partying and then I guess he was gonna have the party at his like continue the party at his house and you know Jordan was with her friends and they went and stuff now for me that's number one why wasn't what like I don't know. I the first thing I thought is how did she end up there by herself? Like no Kylie, no Chloe, like no nobody, just her and the other friends. But whatever. Who who knows what plans they had? Who knows what plans like Kylie and Chloe had? Maybe they couldn't make it. Maybe they knew she was going, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's what I was thinking. So the foundation I'm going in with is my Mac Pro Longwear Foundation. It's in the shade NC50. This is the waterproof foundation, and I love it. Her skin was looking flawless and smooth and radiant, and this foundation does that for me. 
So yeah, apparently there was a party. They all decided to go back to Tristan's, Tristan's house. And it's not like it was just them. At first, I thought it was like, oh, they went to the party and then just the two of them went back. But after looking at a few other videos, like, it wasn't just the two of them. It was like, act, like he was actually having a party in his house. Apparently, based off what Jordan Woods is saying, is that um, she went there and then they were, you know, drinking and stuff. I guess they were lit, obviously, because they went to the party before and then now they're getting lit at his house. So what was said was that she was caught sitting in his lap and they were cozy and, like, very friendly with each other. Like, But what she is saying is that... They were, she wasn't sitting on his lap, right? She's saying she wasn't sitting on his lap. What happened is that her legs were resting on top of his leg or something. Um, either way, that's still questionable. Like, I would, I just, I don't know. Some people are saying, like, oh, that doesn't matter. That doesn't mean anything. But honestly, I, like, no, that's not happening. Um, but yeah, so she's saying she wasn't cozy or whatever. To me, that is cozy. Like, you're definitely cozy. I guess from her point, like, she's like a sister to them. So if she is cozy like that, it shouldn't be taken as anything, I'm assuming. So whatever. I'm just going based off what she's saying. So she said that that happened. And then at the end of the party when she was leaving, he ended up kissing her on her mouth. So anyway, she's saying that they didn't have, like, any sexual encounters or anything like that. Um, all that happened is that they kissed and on her way home she was thinking to herself like oh my god did that just happen okay so to conceal now under Jordan's eyes looked really bright and flawless and concealed so I'm gonna go in with these two concealers the Morphe um, fluidity concealer that I used to clean up my brows and then also the super size and super what is this the super size conceal and define concealer from makeup revolution and this is in the shade c12 anyway long story short she said that on her way home she was thinking to herself like did this really happen like like, she can't believe that he kissed her on her mouth, whatever. And honestly, in that situation, I, I'd be stunned as well. Like, what the hell do you mean you're kissing me? And, like, I'm friends with your your baby moms, you know? Not even friends. I'm basically family with your baby moms. So I would be stunned. I'd most definitely be stunned as well. Um, but the thing is, she said she didn't, t she didn't tell Kylie and them right away. She told them the next morning that she went to his house. Like, the little after party was at his house. And they asked her about it, like, oh, who was there and stuff. And she basically said, like, yeah, he was behaving himself, et cetera, et cetera. Like, that nothing was going down. Because, obviously, if your baby mom finds out that you had a party and she wasn't invited or she wasn't there, she's going to ask, like, okay, so who was there? Was he with, with any girls, et cetera. And especially for Chloe, she's going to ask because he has been caught cheating already. If you guys didn't know, he was caught cheating already. A few months ago, well not a few months ago, but he was caught cheating when she was pregnant. So that's that's like a whole thing in itself that I'm going to talk about. But yeah, so he was already caught cheating. Um, so yeah, so obviously they're going to ask like, oh, so who was there? Like what was going on? Like what girls, etc. Because that's just how girls are. This saving and she didn't tell them about the kiss. And I'm assuming because it's like so awkward because Tristan and Chloe are already going through getting over the whole cheating on her when she was pregnant thing because he like I said he already got caught cheating so I'm assuming that's why she didn't want to really say but she still should have just said because to be honest at that point what does she have to lose well it's obvious now but at that time she should have been thinking like she doesn't really have much to lose between her and Tristan I don't think she really cared about Tristan's feelings at that point she wasn't so much trying to protect Tristan I think she I think she was more so trying to protect um Chloe's feelings because obviously they're going through it. Okay guys, so I'm going to be going in with my Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Setting Powder and this is in the shade Banana. But yeah, anyway, so basically she doesn't tell and then guess what? It comes out on social media that she was wrapped up and this and that and the third and they were doing the most at the party. Now, this is where it backfired on her because she should have just told up front so that when it comes out on social media, there's nothing that, I, that they can really say because she already warned them or she already told them, you know? I'm assuming that if she had said something beforehand, then it wouldn't have blew up like this, obviously. It wouldn't have blown up like this um, in front of everybody. And it would have been handled a little bit more quietly. But because she didn't come clean in the beginning, it just exploded in her face, you know? Everybody was dragging Jordan about it. 
Now, when I first found out about it, I didn't really believe it because I was like, okay, there's no way that Jordan is gonna, of all people to like, you know, mess with, I don't think she's gonna mess with her best friend's sister's man, you know? Then I saw that like Chloe and her her um, best friend were commenting and making comments on these pages, agreeing with some of the shade that they were throwing at Jordan. So that's when I was like, oh shoot, like this is a real thing, you know? For me, I was like, ugh, like it was, it was sticky. It was like, it looked really messy to me when I first saw it, to be honest, and as it did to everybody else. Until she did the Red Table Talk with Jada and she told her side of the story. It just changed my perspective on certain things. Number one, Chloe is going in on Jordan. Now, I'm not saying that what Jordan did is right. I think the only thing that she's wrong about doing, for, from what we know, what we actually know, like the facts that we actually have, what she's wrong in doing is not telling on Tristan. Now, I can kind of see why she wouldn't want to, but she should have just did it anyways. Like, I, I'm somebody who doesn't care. Like, I'm a Scorpio. I don't care. I'm telling on you. I don't care, you know? Sorry, I'm using the Morphe Filter Effect, um filter 11 powder the morning when she called to say that she was at the party she should have just told the full story but again like i said i'm assuming she didn't tell the full story because she didn't really want to you know add fuel to the fire that was already going on 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 chloe's end what i'm gonna say is the fact that chloe is so upset about it but here's the thing that just makes me not really feel bad about it like how she got him how she got tristan is how she's losing him so tristan thompson was with um, another girl named Jordan, Jordan or Jordy, I, like her Instagram is Jordy, but I think her name is Jordan, coincidentally, and she was in her third trimester, basically left her and went to Chloe, and Chloe was rubbing it in her face, putting it on social media, and everything, and it's like, first of all, number one, anybody, anybody who could date somebody who has a pregnant girlfriend, or like somebody... Like, he was with this girl, they're having a baby, everybody knows about it, and then now you're with him? That's so, that's like so wrong to me, that speaks about you as a person, that speaks about him as a person, and even his, his first baby mother, Jordan, she didn't, re she didn't go off on social media, she didn't do anything like that. So that speaks about her as a person as well, to me. So I just think that C Tristan and Chloe in this situation, in that situation, were very nasty, they were so disgusting. Like, so disgusting for doing that. Anybody who does anything like that is just so disgusting. I don't care. I said it. Disgusting. There's no way I'm going to be dating anybody who's just left their girl who's in third trimester to come be with me. Like, I don't want that. But anyway, she wanted that. So, that's what she got. So, to contour, right? So, now we're getting our skin snatched and flawless. Now, she had a little slight contour. So, I'm going to go in with my Morphe Brontour palette. And I'm going to be using the shade Showman's. He literally, like... He left his other girl and went to her. So for me, that's not a good foundation to start a relationship on in the first place. Like he picked up and left his pregnant girlfriend for a next girl. You don't think he could do that to you? Like that's all that would be in my head. And on top of that, his character, his character itself, I would be like, what kind of man could do that? You know, if he could do that to her, he could do that to me. That's what I would be thinking. And then guess what? When she was in her third trimester, he did what? He cheated on her. Yeah, so back to Jordan Woods. How she even ended up on Red Table Talk is because her family is friends with Will and Jada. So she's grown up around them. So it, was, it wasn't it was even a questionable thing for Jada to be like, come on the show and defend yourself. For me, out of this whole thing, as much as Jordan is uh, Kylie's best friend, I always say that your friends don't owe you anything. Like some people hold their friends to such a high standard. And yes, I, I for me personally, I like my friends are my friends, period. I love them and like I expect certain things from them but I am not somebody who's gonna be like oh my god like hi I would never expect this you know like I I'm not that person I I honestly expect anything from anybody because you know what you can't put anything past anybody at any point I don't care what anybody says you can't put anything past anybody so right now I'm using loudspeaker from Mac just to warm up my cheeks a little bit and my fresh face is coming along guys now I don't know if she had on highlighter but I'm gonna put on some highlighter so I want my highlighter to be a little subtle so I'm just gonna go in with the MAC hyper real palette and I'm gonna use this kind of like goldy bronzy shade it's showing up a little bit brighter on camera Ooh, this is really nice so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that bronzer and um, a fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna put this in my crease because like I said she didn't really have much of an eyeshadow look going on honestly to me it, she she sounded like she was telling the truth she said they were basically like pretty comfy um now like the reporter said they were sitting on top of each other's like she was sitting on his lap but she's saying that their feet were just touching so i'm assuming that's why they were saying that they were 
comfortable or getting like touchy or cozy with each other so to me that's like a hell no you know that part shouldn't have happened i think she was also so cozy because i heard that um tristan took everybody's phone away so i'm assuming he didn't think anybody was gonna get any footage or or snitch on what was happening but it got out boy so this she said she's willing to take a lie detector test to prove that she isn't actually the one who kissed him and that you know that she's not interested in him yeah she does owe her an apology but to be honest i'm not gonna hold her to the same standard as i would hold tristan because you know what friends come and go she would have to leave but at the end of the day she has a baby with tristan and he should be on his best behavior especially because he got caught when she was pregnant okay guys so jordan's lashes were very natural way more natural than i like to go so i'm gonna be going in with these new lashes from mac um they these are the number 76s mistake number one first of all chloe i don't even understand why she's so upset because she did this with trina she used to be really good friends with trina when she was with french montana and then she was messing around with french montana it's like she's she's done it to her friends i don't understand why she's so upset that not even her friend did this to her like her sister's friend did this to her and i'm not saying that justifies it or anything like 100 percent that doesn't justify it but it's like you you don't even stand by the same like girl code so how is it that you want somebody else to stand by it as well you can't be slack with certain things when it comes to you but when somebody else does it to you you're taking it so serious okay whoa this is like transforming me already look at this mm -hmm. and then even her best friend malika uh, malika was obviously malika is gonna be your hype man in this whole situation but the thing is with malika she i heard that she's with she's been dating a married man for a while now and now she's with somebody who's actually like her own and claiming her but for a while she was dating a married man so it's just like you also don't believe in the girl code as well so how are you i'm not saying that chloe uh, shouldn't be upset by it and that her family and her sisters and stuff shouldn't be like hyping it up but like i don't know i'd be more discreet i can't be a liar and then when i'm lied to i'm gonna be going so hard about can't believe you're lying you know but i'm a liar so how can i be upset that somebody's lying to me but you know what that's how the world works like people like to dish out what they can't take back you know video where she said she like she talked about this as well she was saying jordan is wrong and jordan should have never put herself in that situation for that to happen but i don't think that that's right to say either because he should have some self-control which he doesn't he obviously has no self-control how are you cheating on your girl in her third trimester that's just like and instead of leaving him she stayed with him now here's my thing i am one of those people that it that says once a cheater always a cheater now, i know there's people who say oh yeah no people change and blah, blah blah i don't believe that i don't believe none of that i believe if it's in your blood to do it once you'll do it again but you'll do it better i'm a strong believer of once you slip you definitely slide and guess what he slid all the way down the hill he slid all the way down the hill like you went to the sister's best friend even if it was her coming on to him or her giving him signs he should have never took the bait okay guys so for my lips i'm gonna do this combo right here it's chestnut liner from mac and then i'm going in with sable lipstick from nyx and then i'm gonna be using this dose of colors um over the top lip gloss this was from the Destiny and kitty uh round two collection and i love it so to finish off my face i'm just going to go in with my fix plus from mac and it is honestly almost finished oh my god okay so and apparently he was out to dinner with somebody after this or something like that he was out having dinner with some girl the other day and yeah it is not said who that girl is so honestly i just i don't know he just he's disgusting i don't even i don't know okay guys so this is the end of the tutorial i hope you enjoyed this jordan woods makeover i actually really like it this is probably the most natural my makeup has looked on my channel usually i have some type of liner going on but i kind of like this actually so yeah and also i am living for this little ponytail i haven't done a ponytail in a long time look at her ah. yeah let me know if you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you're team jordan or if you're team chloe because i want to know maybe you're team tristan i don't know see you guys next time bye